dear students please note down the pdf file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture please download your notes dear students today we will start new type study of class amphibia in this type study we will discuss a new chapter of this animal frog rana tigrina dear students in today's lecture we will discuss frog new type study and that type study belongs to class amphibia rana tigrina frog first of all we will discuss its classification its systematic position kingdom animalia phylum chordata dear students phylum chordata presence of notochord during embryonic stages at the time of development is solid notochord develops in dorsal region as well as in dorsal region a hollow central nervous system nerve cord is there and presence of gill slits subphylum it is vertebrata or it is craniata vertebrata it means the dorsal hollow notochord which develops in embryonic stages in larval forms and that notochord is replaced by a vertebral column and the brain is enclosed in brain box a cranium that's why the subphylum is craniata brain box is there cranium is there division gnathostomata means mouth bounded by jaws as we have discussed already discussed cyclostomata the circular mouth the animals patromyzoan without jaws but here in this animal mouth bounded by upper and lower jaws super class tetrapoda presence of two pairs of limbs a pair of fore limbs and a pair of hind limbs class amphibia dear students class amphibia means having both habitats the animal found in both conditions in terrestrial on land as well as in aquatic conditions fresh water subclass that is anura anura name indicates these are tailless animals hind limbs longer than the fore limbs look here this hind limb this hind limb is longer as compared to this fore limb order phaneroglossa dear student phaneroglossa means presence of tongue and the characteristic feature of tongue is in case of man the anterior part of tongue is free but in case of this animal frog rana tigrina the posterior part of tongue is free anterior part gets fixed by a frenulum lingual frenulum but the posterior part of tongue which is free sticky in nature to capture the insects the worms the spider order phaneroglossa presence of tongue and the type is rana tigrina dear students in today's lecture we are discussing new type study of class amphibia having both life terrestrial and aquatic and the type study is frog the rana tigrina habitat the animal is amphibious found in and near the water body is activity the animal is diurnal it means the frog remains active during day time but yes students these are two different animals 
one is frog another is tot and tot that is nocturnal that becomes active during night and but but this animal the frog it becomes active it remains active during daytime actually we can distinguish frog and tot that is buffo and the frog is rana in this animal mid dorsally a line is there but in case of tot no mid dorsal line here on this body surface these are olive green dark patches are there but in case of toad buffo the skin is brownish without any dark greenish olive patches absent here in case of frog the skin is thin moist slime glands are there it is moist skin but in case of buffo in case of tot the skin is dry dear student skin is dry rough skin here the mouth end mouth in case of frog that is triangular but in case of buffo dear students in case of tot the mouth is semi circular and dear students the frog it produce a mass of eggs a gelatinous mass of eggs that is spawn but in case of buffo the eggs are laid in a line these are common differences between frog and toad in case of toad the skin possesses poison glands here in case of frog no poison gland feeding as we know the frog is carnivorous its sticky tongue that helps in capturing of insects worms and spiders etc hibernation the frog is the animal is cold blooded pikilothermic dear students it is cold blooded it is pikilothermic it is ectothermic it means body temperature changes with external conditions so the animal shows winter sleep that is hibernation and dear students in summer season it also remains inactive it means the animal shows summer sleep as well as winter sleep winter sleep is hibernation and this summer sleep is it is estivation two very important points for competitive exams reproduction the animal is unisexual it means both male and female sex organs are separate and externally means sexual dimorphism is reported both male and female can be distinguished externally dear students note down in case of male frog the forelimb its first finger and first finger means it is index finger there is no thumb but this first digit first finger index finger having a pad pad a swollen area is there and this pad is not down very important point for competitive and final exam students this pad is nuptial pad this pad is copulatory pad and dear students very important point for exam that is amplexary pad in case of male frog first finger that is index finger and that possesses a swollen pad is there and this pad is nuptial pad it is copulatory pad it is amplexary pad and this pad is this amplexary pad it becomes a last 
in breeding season but in case of female there is no nuptial pad externally we can distinguish male and female frogs dear students in case of male frog during breeding season that croaks loudly as in throat region the male frog possesses a pair of vocal sacs vocal sacs are there which act as ratonators that's why male croaks loudly as compared to female frog fertilization dear students in rainy season that is breeding season of the animal both male and female at the time of copulation at the time of mating they remain together that pairing of male and female frogs in breeding season that is named amplexus dear students that is amplexus and in that pairing that during copulation mating this amplex repaired which helps in mating pairing of male and female frogs during breeding season fertilization is and fertilization that occurs in fresh water water bodies means fertilization is external a mature female and a mature female lays about 2500 to 3000 over at a time dear students and these eggs are laid in a gelatinous mass that mass is named spawn frog spawn that gelatinous mass about 2500 to 3000 eggs that is frog spawn very important point that is metacrosis dear students metacrosis another point for competitive exams protective coloration it means the animal is capable to change its color with surroundings background for defense as in its skin some pigment cells are there chromatophores are there pigment cells are there as a result the animal is capable to change its skin color molting it means the animal sheds off its skin almost once a month during its active season breeding season the animal sheds of its skin body division not down no down dear students this is external morphology of frog rana tigrina and the body is divided into two parts this anterior part is head and this posterior part is trunk and this trunk is further divided into this anterior smaller part is thorax and this maximum part of body it is abdomen the animal is amphibious it is tetrapoda and dear students its four limbs in this four limbs one two three four fingers and digits are there but not down there is no web is absent but here in case of hind limb which is almost at the time of sitting it is giant shape and dear students this hind limb which is much longer as compared to this fore limb and this hind limb possesses 1 2 3 4 5 toes it means in case of fore limb the first finger that is thumb or pollex that is absent and in case of male frog this first digit index finger that possesses a pad which is nuptial pad which is amplexary pad or it is copulatory pad 
and dear students the head region of frog that possesses in this anterior most part snout region a pair of external nares or nostrils for respiration these are external nares or nostrils a pair of eyes and each eye note down dear students each eye having three eyelids upper eyelid which is immovable competition students note down each and every point each eye having three eyelids upper eyelid which is immovable the lower eyelid slightly movable and the third eyelid which is nictitating membrane that is freely movable and that nictitating membrane third eyelid that covers the eye completely particularly in water dear students between both eyes in between both eyes there is a spot and this spot is brass spot and it is pineal eye or dear students very important for competitive exams it is vestigial third eye and this brass spot it is sensitive to longer wavelengths of light radiations that brow spot which is one that lies between both eyes and this brass spot which is which is pineal eye or vestigial third eye which is sensitive to longer wavelengths of light radiations and this head region also possesses a pair of eardrum or these are tympanum or these are tympanic membranes which represent the middle ear there is no external ear these are a pair of tympanum eardrums it means on head region the following structures are present a pair of eyes each eye having three eyelids upper eyelid which is immovable and the lower eyelid it is slightly movable and dear student third eyelid which is nictitating membrane that is freely movable that covers the eye completely between both eyes a spot is there it is brass spot it is pineal eye it is vestigial third eye which is sensitive to longer wavelengths of light radiations and on this head region a pair of external nares nostrils for respiration and this mouth is it is bounded by upper and lower jaws in throat region dear students in throat region particularly in male frog a pair of additional vocal sacs are there which act as resonators for loud croaking and on this head region a pair of eardrums tympanum or tympanic membranes which represent middle ear and this entire body this region is it is trunk its anterior part is thorax and posterior part is abdomen dear students this is all about general introduction of frog rana tigrina in next lecture means tomorrow we will discuss skin of frog thank you.